what is up you guys in the lab haven't left my freaking room um and just and just running facebook ads man running facebook ads whether it's for myself whether it's for a client i have multiple different clients multiple different ad accounts that i'm going through but um this is stuff that i was already doing i just thought i'd record it and just kind of you know share it with you this is a like ad that i have going on right now that i well that i have off but i had it going spent 55 bucks 5590 um we 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 got the page likes at 0.01 so we got 4,500, 4,567, 4,500 likes. That's what I always call, I call it step two. Step one, when it comes to just basic social media marketing and being able to provide this as a service. So those of you that are freelancers or building an agency, like this is basic stuff that you guys even miss. Like I'm a basic guy. Like I truly found value and I found money. Um, I found a demand in the small business sector when it pertained to the basics like um so this one ad for example is a basic ad it's a basic like ad um that i always make sure i run for my clients so any of my clients you're not going to see them at freaking 200 likes their page ain't going to look like yours with 92 likes and they're all their friends and family like no we run a simple like ad we take it up a few thousand um and then, and then that's what I, I normally call step two. Step one is listing all your links, for example, making everything match. Um, and then step two is running this simple like ad. But this client of mine, Tony, shout out to Tony, um, crushing it with Keller Williams. But this, this uh, client, back and forth, month here, month there, all within, let's just say the last maybe maybe two months, three months, if that. Um, she would hit me up and she would say, David, let's go up another couple thousand likes. And so starting her at just taking her up her page from 92 likes to a thousand and then her coming back and saying, David, let's go up a few more thousand. She came back to me around two to three times already. And now we're at 4,500. So this is just added value, man. Added value. Every business page that you see, most businesses, if, if they're not really popping, they're just a normal small business owner. They got maybe 200 likes, 300 likes, 500 likes, if that. Maybe they have 600 likes on their Facebook business page and they've been clicking invite to all their personal friends forever. You're a plumber. You're a chiropractor. You own a freaking, you own a, a, an oil change you know, little shop, you own a car lot, you own your fitness coach, you're a consultant. Even some of you that are pitching social media services, I go to your freaking page, dude, you're telling, you're telling everyone you're an agency, you own, you run Facebook ads, you know, for businesses. But then I go look at your business page and you have 300 likes and, and, and none of your links are even listed. I can't find your Instagram, your LinkedIn ain't listed, your, your Twitter, your Pinterest, your .com is a completely different name. Than, 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 than your Instagram name, like none of it's listed. And if it is, you got a bunch of mixed matched usernames for all these platforms. Your Twitter name is different than your Pinterest. Your Pinterest name is different than your LinkedIn. Like you don't even have the top five platforms, let alone even know what the top five platforms are. And you're trying to pitch, you know, 2,500 a month out of a business owner. It's like, no dude, start with the basics, start with the basics. I've been offering the basics to clients for the past few years since 2016, offering them the basics and making a ton of money in, 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 in it all providing value and, and, and getting paid, you know, a, a, a good freaking margin to make this type of stuff happen, man, to bring value. This is a client that keeps coming back and saying, David, let's go up a few more thousand. Now we're at 4,500. She wants to go up a little bit more. So all I, all I'm going to show you guys Again, stuff that I'm already doing, just documenting, taking you through the journey, a day in the life, and I'm just kind of showing you what I'm doing for these specific clients. This one right here, the ad is off. Every time I, it's shaded gray, ad is off. I'm gonna turn it on here at the campaign level. I'm gonna turn it on, I'm gonna turn it on there, and then I'm gonna come to the ad set, the middle tab, and I'm gonna, and I'm gonna edit this. I'm gonna edit. Before I turn it on, I'm gonna edit. So here's, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to edit. I'm going to go in there. And when it comes to editing an ad, you don't want to edit too much. Know what you're editing. Keep it to a minimum. Don't edit the, the, the targeting. Don't edit the freaking interest. Now you want to target all of a sudden with that same, you know, ad set. You all of a sudden want to add in barbershops and you want to target people who love chicken wings. Like, no, dude, like, don't, 
don't edit none of that stuff. Um, but there's certain things you can edit. You can edit the daily budget. I can go from five to 10. I can go from five to two. Um, I can go, I can mess, mess with the daily budget. I can change the ad set name. Um, and then I can change the date. When I originally ran this, I, again, I ran it a couple of times for Tony. She keeps coming back saying, David, take it up higher, take it up higher. And guess what? I keep charging her, I keep charging her. And guess what? She keeps paying me, she keeps paying me. Um, so now this last run that we were on, it ended on the 18th. So when it, we ended it a few days ago, but now she's hitting me up and saying, David, let's go up a little, let's go a few more bucks, you know? And so I charge her. And I end up running this ad. Let's see, what are we at? We're at the, is it today? no, today's a, today's a 22nd. So I'm going to run it for the next few days. I'm going to take it from the 22nd to the 24th. Okay. And I'll leave the time and let's publish it. So that ad set is being updated. That's all I want to change in the ad set level when it comes to editing a live ad or an ad that performed, an ad that actually did well. And now you want to turn it back on. And there's not too many, like, you know, because once you know it's working, you're going to keep increasing it up, increasing it. This is one specific type of ad. It's the like ad. It's not like she has to run it all the time. That's why you want to kind of micromanage it because you can turn it on and off whenever you want and 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 it'll always perform for you. So you can change the daily budget again, but just don't change much. Once you publish it, then it saves it, then you close it, and then we turn it on, all right? And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna come to the ad, the ads for one ad set. This is the campaign level as well. I'm gonna turn this on. Nothing needs, needs to be changed here, so I'm gonna just turn this back on. And then now, if I turn this to lifetime, okay, I change this to lifetime, and then I X out, X out and come back to the campaigns tab. This right here is going to tell me how much money I just added. So it's going to say 55.90 of $70. So I just added three days right there. If that's the budget, that's the budget. If it's not the budget, let's say I went over by $10, which I actually did. If, if I went over, if that's 70, 89, if that's not what I want to spend, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to highlight it. I'm going to come back into the ad set level because that's where I'm placing the budget and I'm going to click edit. And because it's actually $10, I'm going $5 a day. Because I was actually $10 over, here's what I do. So today's date, what's today's? Today's the 22nd. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move this back to the 23rd. And then I'm going to publish. And then once it says updated, then I close it. Okay, close. Close. And then now let's come back and let's see where our budget is at now. Now it's at 65. Perfect. I actually want it lower. So here's what I want to do. Yeah, I actually want it lower. But. I'll leave it at that. I'll leave it at that. But you get the idea. You can change that calendar date, which will change the total budgets being spent. That, that's more like it. I want 60, but I'll leave it at 65. That's fine. But you can mess with the calendar and it'll adjust that budget. But make sure you're in lifetime. Okay. Make sure you're in lifetime and you'll see the budget right there. So that's kind of how I, how I micromanage these specific ads, which are the like ads. I always encourage you and encourage my clients to take your page up a few thousand, like get all your links listed um, in the about tab. So on your Facebook business page, go to that about tab, get all your links listed, Instagram, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Twitter, like over here. If I come to my page over here, this is the about section. This is step one, man. This is basics. This is what businesses will pay you for. Most of them are missing. Most of them are missing this um, actual part of it all. This is all, this is all social media marketing, you know, for, for real estate agents. So let me show you, if you click over here, this is what I call step one, having all of these links uh, uh, listed and having all of them matching. All of those links need to be matching. That's step one. I'm telling you, most businesses don't have that from architects to plumbers, to dentists, to, um, to um, some type of, um, let's just say uh even a landscaper, even a real estate agent, even an insurance agent, 
um, a veterinarian, um, um, fitness, a coach, any type of consultant, anyone building a business, man, a local restaurant, you go look at their Facebook business page, all that stuff is missing. All that stuff. And if it's listed, it's all mix matched. It's not one name at all. Like that's basic, man. That's basic social media marketing. That's basic social media branding and most miss it. Okay. When you can provide that type of value, they'll pay you for it. And then over here on the, on the home section, you know, on the home section, let's click on, on home. Let me refresh this. Okay, so then on home, on home, you click on home, and this is what I call step two. So taking anyone's page, man, taking your, your page, taking your client's pages, whatever, taking, taking you know, a business page. If you're a freelancer, if you're trying to build an agency, if you're trying to bring value to clients or business owners, or you're trying to build your own business, man, this pertains to you 100%. If you're just like me trying to build my own business, not only am I doing this for myself because I'm building my own business, but I'm telling you what clients pay me for. They pay me to do these basics because none of them have it set up. Um, step two, running that like ad and taking it up a few thousand. Now this page I took up to 5,100, you know, my other page, let me show you the other page. This other page I took to 20,000. So it's, it, it, you don't have to go that high. You don't have to go that high at all. Look at your competition. Look at the market. Look at what, you know, look at everyone else's business page. I'm telling you, man, they all look horrible. None of the links, links are listed and they have 300 likes. You know, that, that's, that's most business pages. So um, over here, ran it on, on my other page over here and took it up, you know, 20,000. So but that's an ad that I turned on and off. That's why I'm showing you this one right here. Look, so now it's active. Okay, now it's active. So I'm just showing you over the course of the last, let's just say three months, this client keeps coming back wanting for me to hurt, wanting me to, to, to turn the ad back on to increase her likes. I charge her a good, per, a good amount. Every dollar is worth it. And I have a pretty good margin on it all as well. That's my, my cost. So, um, so there's no other way, man. These business pages, I'm telling you, most real estate agents will have 110 likes. Most real estate agents will have 273 likes. And all of them are, are from them clicking invite, inviting people on their personal Facebook page. When they have most of those people on their personal page live across the country, they have you know friends from all over the place. So clicking like does absolutely no good. Take that like count up a few thousand and you know, run that like ad. So that's just how I, how I kind of manage it, turn it on, turn it off. Um, um, and then, and then just keep scaling it from there, man. Keep scaling it from there. I could easily change the budget. Um, but I left it at $5 a day and this is how long, you know, we're running it for until it spends 65, 89. So for the next two days, $5 a day for the next two days, and that will take me up another 1000 likes. So this number will be at 5,500. Um, by the time we hit 65 ad spent. Okay. That's on a like ad. Again, you don't need to go that high, man. But again, I would, I'd go up a few thousand. I'd go up a few thousand, take it up to four, five, 10,000. You know, if, if you're that type of professional, if that even means anything in your industry, you could be in an industry where none of that even matters, but at the same time, yes, it does. All of it matters. If you're a small business owner today, you need to be building your business on social media. I don't care what you're doing. You're, you're a freaking pest control. You're a freaking cockroach killer. I don't care what you do for business. You need to be building some type of social media brand. And this is just the basics, man. The basics, what I've, what I've seen in the marketplace on social media, messaging and, and, and prospecting and, and closing deals on social media, all through the DM, um, looking at thousands of business pages, they're all the same. They're all the same. They're all the same. So unless you have some you know hardcore Facebook ads and you're like, David, I don't even have my links. I, I have 200 likes, but I capture leads all day. If you're that person, okay, cool, man. You know, hats off to you. But 99% of you guys, you know, you're not doing that and, and you're still missing these basics. You know what I mean? And so these businesses will pay you. And again, if you're building anything, do it for your, do it for your pages as well. All right. So hopefully that helped you guys. 
um, comment below. Let me know what type of videos you guys are looking for. Is it Facebook ads? Is it social media marketing? Is it closing clients? Um, I'm building a social media agency. I have, I have clients that I'm bringing, you know, value to these basics and, and also Facebook advertising and capturing leads and all that fun stuff. So if you're, if you're into that, you're in the right spot, subscribe, smash the bell for notifications, but comment below. Let me know what you guys are, are looking for and I'll, I'll drop some videos and, and put out some more, you know, value and content on, on those types of, of topics, social media marketing and affiliate marketing, making money online. Um, and, 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 and most importantly, capturing leads online, which, which, you know, turn into an ROI for you. So subscribe. Drop me a comment and I'll see you guys on the next video. Over and out.